Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Lewis Carroll. My name is Lucy. I'm nine years old. So I'm here to tell you about Greg Mortensen. He climbed K2, the world's second tallest mountain, and got lost and ended up in a village called Corfe. And in that village, he found out that the kids, well, they didn't even have a school. These kids had to, like, stay outside scratching their arithmetic into the dirt. They only got a teacher three times a week. And the teacher only cost one dollar a day. A dollar's like a slurpee. So that would just be like, oh, that's easy. I could pay for a teacher for 25 days. or And if you're, like, an adult, you'd be like, oh, I could pay for a teacher for, like, a whole year. So Greg Morrison decided to build a school in Corfe, and he wrote letters to a bunch of favorite people like Oprah, his favorite baseball players, and many other famous people. And he only got one letter back. And he was really surprised that all these famous people with so much money didn't help him. So his mom, because she was a teacher, asked him to go talk to the kids at the school that she worked at. And after he gave his talk, there was this little kid. And that little kid um, said, Greg, I'm going to help you. Greg, I'm going to help you get raise money. And later, the kid sent off a check for him with $400 just collecting pennies in that school. I'm going to tell you a quick mini story. When he was in Afghanistan, he noticed that there were so many landmines around, right? And a bunch of the kids were covered, their faces were scarred and covered in ash. And people have been trying to say no more landmines. And even Barack Obama didn't sign the thing that said stop landmines because, because they were selling so well. I mean, seriously, doesn't that pretty much suck? So that's my quick short little story back on task. Anyway, this is my principal. And, and look, check this out. He turns into that thing because he's scary. This is me with the worm on my back. And this is how it went when I went to ask him if I could start pennies for peace. Come in, Lucy! I'm like, okay. And I start my speech. Blue, 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 and then he shoots two of his wings for the zombie. And I'm not like scared, but he's like, Lucy. I will say yes. So basically all I'm thinking is like, a penny buys a pencil, and a pencil is like all a kid needs, and a hundred pennies a dollar by the of education, and educating a child is like the most important thing we can do. But one of my favorite quotes that Greg Morrison, a little quote makes me happy because I'm a girl, it's about girls. If you educate a boy, you educate a single individual. If you educate a girl, you educate a whole community. And these, oh my god, do you know how much this weighs? Oh, are all the pennies in my household. So basically what I want you guys to do is going around in your household and collecting all the pennies. What we're trying to do may just be a drop in the ocean, but the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Anything's possible if you got enough nerve. J.K. Rowling.